Hi, I'm going to give you a guide to the map of Accused Witches in Scotland website. So first of all, when you enter the website, this is the page you land on, and we can see the Accused Witches plotted on the map. As we zoom in, we can see that the locations that these people resided in, and we can click on them and find out information about the people that lived in these locations. Just like that. If you would like to view the map differently and not in these groupings that expand, you can select that here and change to the ungrouped map. Just like that. And you can change back like this. You also have the option to see the map on a historic map, a map from 1750, which is still after the Scottish Witch Trials happened, but it is closer to the time period and change back like that. You also have the option to filter which allows you to do more precise searches for example right now I want to find out if there was any female working poor social class accused witches that were midwives so I can do that by clearing all and selecting female. Same again working poor and same again. And these filters are in alphabetical order to help you find what you're looking for. And here I can see that there's six accused witches that meet these characteristics. And here we can find out information about one of them called Margaret Bain. You can see her investigation date. She was female, midwife, working poor, where she resided, place of detention, and place of death and manner of death. And to reset the map, I can just go through and click select all. You also have the option to pick time periods. So we can pick by some preset ranges here, which have panic periods and non-panic periods. I'm going to look at this panic period. And here we have it, we can see the people who were accused within the years 1590-91. And another feature here is this map, a timeline is responsive and you can drag and see how this changed throughout the years. So you can see how they appeared across the country during these panic periods. Another feature of the filters here is that if you hover over here you can find out some information about the filter categories so I can find out a bit about the gender of accused witches, the social classification and occupations. If you want to find out even more information, or if you're unsure what any of the terms used within the filters are, you can f use our glossary, and there's links to the glossary below each ca filter category, and it will take you right to the section that you're looking for of the glossary. And this is what the glossary looks like. You have two options. It can either be sorted by category or alphabetically, so whatever you find easier. Going back to this page, I'll also show you that not only can you select one of the preset time ranges, you can also even select your own precise time range here using this calendar. Another page I'll show you is the timeline search. This is an interactive timeline showing you the witch, accused witchcraft investigations throughout the years. As we zoom in, more will appear and it's the, it's the ones with most information about them that display at the start. And we can click on them and we get some notes from their investigations. We can visit their witchcraft survey page, their Wikipedia and their resonator. And we can even search by name to find out if we know the specific accused witch that we're looking for. For example, Isabel Gaudi. 
and for some of these um, accused of witches as well we have the Privy Council notes or any other primary sources which the Survey of Scottish Witchcraft found the information about these investigations and trials. So here we have it, the Privy Council notes where Isabel Gaudi's trial was mentioned. Another cool feature of this Histopedia timeline is the ability to filter. So for example, here's like some example of the filters. We have age event. So I want to find out about the people who were accused during their 20s. And here we have some examples. Note that for some of these filters, the we don't know about it for the majority of the accused witches. Um, so most of the ages events are unrecorded. There are so many other interesting pages on this website for you to explore. Within investigations, we have um, other maps with different filters. For example, witches meeting includes what the accused witches um, supposedly, things like such as Pact of the Devil, property damage and meeting places and meetings information. And within trials, we have information about the trials, for example, and this page has a network graph showing um, who accused who. So these point different accused witches of who they named during their cases as witches. And we can have detention locations, trial locations, trials in each modern authority, and some information about the trial procedures and types of torture. We have information about people associated with the witch trials and the witch perker's journey. And in extra visualisations we have some bubble charts and a witch tour of Edinburgh and the story of Isabel Young. And we also have the memorials and sites of interest pages where you can see how the how we've memorialised and commemorated the Scottish witch trials. Within about you can also find more contextual information such as an introduction to Sir Scottish Witchcraft, an interview with Professor Julian Goodair, information about this project, glossary, references, resources and if, if you're still interested in even more we have our further reading pages which suggests books and journals that you can read. Please if you have any more questions or any suggestions um, have please feel free to contact us and let us know what you've been using the website for as we love to hear the different uses and who's been using it. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy using the website.